Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're sharing another fun Cricut Design Space tutorial. This is a perfect beginner video because we're sharing with you guys how to download SVG or PNG files from websites like our membership or anywhere online and being able to upload them into Cricut Design Space. This is such a really important video and if you guys didn't know, we have a membership of amazing digital cut files. Right now we have a library of like over 300 designs and we're adding 30 new designs every single month as part of our community and benefits. So it's something everyone loves and I always get questions from people that join and want to understand exactly how it works. So in today's video, we're going to just share with you how you're able to download and upload any SVG for any type of Cricut into Design Space, no matter if you get it from Pinterest, our membership, anywhere you see online, this video is going to help you. So let's get started. I love these files. And since we're already here, um, I'll go ahead and give you all a basic one-on-one -on -one tutorial on how to upload these into Cricut. So let's go to design.cricut.com and let's let this load. And this is the beautiful landing page. You can see some other projects we've been working on. You can click new project and let's go over to upload. And you can see I've been working with the files, but for sake, okay. Let's pay attention. This is the canvas of Design Space. I sometimes get ahead of myself, but if you're new to Cricut, I wanna make this nice and easy for you. This is your canvas. This is where you import text, shapes, images, projects, etc. You're going to want to look to your left-hand sidebar. This is like my favorite part of Design Space. And you wanna go all the way down to Upload and press that. Okay, so now you can upload a pattern fill. You can look at other images you've uploaded to your Cricut account, but we're just going to click upload image. So now you can drag and drop a file here or you can browse. Now you can do this the same for PNG or SVG. So we're gonna go to our downloads and we're gonna see our holiday collection SVG. And let's just scroll through here. Say we wanna upload number, 21 or 26. Um, this one's really amazing. I love her artwork so, so much. Um, so you select that and it says in everything, give thanks. You can change the image. So if you want to put the entire name in everything, give thanks. Um, this is something where you can add tags to search through your uploaded files because it is going to save a copy to the cloud. So let's click save. And now it's saving this to your recently uploaded images. So if we want to import this into the canvas, we want to select that and come over here and click insert image. Ta-da! Now you have your awesome image. I love this. You can size it the size you want. You can come over here and change it from black. You can change the color to orange. You can make this right instead of um, cut. All of these awesome things, super easy, um, you're able to do. You, if you want to do the washable fabric pin, if you want a silver metallic, so seriously guys, the possibilities are truly endless, um, but we'll just leave that just to cut. So anyway guys, I hope this video helped you not only download your holiday collection, but also import it into Cricut. And this process is pretty much the same across the board. So if you have any questions, as always, hit me up. I will be happy to answer them. And I just want to take another moment and sincerely thank you guys for being so supportive of everything we do here. And I really appreciate it. So hope you guys have a great week and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.